the Long Jeans Master Collection Triple Date Chronograph Moon Phase Watch. How's that for a mouthful of a watch description? Long Jeans is a very well known and respected Swiss watch company established back in the 1830s. They are known for their great value and this Master Collection Chronograph watch is no exception. For a price of around $2300, it's a tremendous amount of watch for the price. If you'd like something different than the popular chronograph watches out there, something with many complications and a busy dial, then this one is for you. But if you spent that $2300 on food preps and firearms, no worries, I got just the thing for you. Yep, you guessed it, another homage watch, but this time by Guan Xin. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Dave. May the Schwartz be with you. Now, before we go over the good, the bad, and the ugly of this watch, I first wanted to remind you about my current giveaway that is set to happen when we hit 500 subscribers. I'll link that video up here for you to check out the details on how to enter, but basically, I will be giving away your choice between the Triple Tree Automatic Watch Winding Box or an Amazon gift card in the amount of 50 bucks. Thanks again for your support and good luck on the drawing. Okay, let's get started with the measurements of this homage watch. Long Jeans did release two different case sizes of the Master Collection Triple Date, which were in 40mm and 42mm. This Quan Chin watch has a case diameter right in between at just under 41mm. Now lug to lug height of 47mm and case thickness of just under 14mm. The case is 316L stainless steel which is done in high polish. The watch came on this brown leather strap with alligator pattern embossed into it. I like the color. It's this deep, rich chocolate brown. However, I do wish that the strap would have had white contrast stitching as we see on the long jeans version. The strap is 20 millimeters wide at the lugs. It tapers down to 18 millimeters where we see it has been put onto this double deployant clasp that is locked into place with friction. So we do see that there are no pushers to release this clasp. You just simply pull on it to open it up and snap it shut. There is the Guan Xin branding on the buckle as well. Moving to the side of the watch, we see that there is a domed bezel which protrudes just a bit, but it's done in a way that is very subtle from just about every angle that you would view this watch at. With the way that these lugs arch downward, I would say that you could easily fit this onto a smaller wrist size. I have seven inch wrists, so again, this is how the watch wears on me. I do like the aggressive creasing that we see here on the lugs as well. It helps to break up the 14 millimeter thickness so it does appear thinner when on the wrist. Moving to the front of the watch, I am pleased to say that we do get a flat sapphire crystal included. On the dial, we see that there's this very nice crosshatch pattern that gives us something different from the common sunburst or matte finish that we often see. And the font of these Arabic numerals are very nice. We see some cropping where the subdials are set. That may bother some out there with OCD, but I think it looks very cool and gives some depth to the dial. Subdials are sunk ever so slightly, which again, give a bit of depth to the watch and the thin lining of metal around each subdial helps break them up from the crosshatch pattern dial. The blued hands help with the contrast to make time reading easy. However, these do not appear to be blued thermally, but rather chemically or with paint. Now, to be honest, reading the time on this watch does take some getting used to. As you see, there is the second hand, the minute and hour hands, as well as this fourth hand with the crescent moon shape at the end to indicate the day of the month. Along the sloped ray hot, we see a second and minute indicators and just along the edge of the dial are our 31 days of the month. Guan Xin logo and branding is shown at three o'clock. We see the subdials located at six, nine, and 12 o'clock positions. Starting with the lowest subdial, unlike the long jeans, which would feature a moon phase, Guan Xin only has a day-night indicator, which does cycle throughout the day and the night. The dial also shows 12 hour indication. Moving to the nine o'clock subdial, we have the day of the week indication, however, this 24 hour indication seems to only be for looks. On the long jeans, this subdial would actually be a sweeping second hand and a functioning 24 hour indicator. On our top subdial at 12 o'clock, we see a 30 minute indicator with the year and month also shown. Now on the long jeans, the date boxes would actually be the day of week and month of year. We do have two pushers on the right side of the case and two recessed pushers on the left side of the case. The crown is located at three o'clock on the case and has a coin edge is rounded with a simple letter G printed. This top pusher will cycle the month located at the 12 o'clock subdial and the lower pusher will move the day of month indicating hand to the next date. Now moving over to these recessed pushers, the top recessed pusher will cycle the year indicated at the 12 o'clock subdial. 
this particular watch will cycle from 2019 through 2030. Now don't worry, I don't think this is any indication of the world ending in 2030 according to Guan Chen. The lower recessed pusher will cycle the day of weak indicator at the 9 o'clock subdial. Moving toward the back of the watch, we see that we get an exhibition case back done also in high polished stainless steel. We get a very nicely decorated movement with gold plated rotor and blued screws. There's also a good amount of texture included on the movement components as well, which really do stand out from many other cheap homage watches that I've reviewed. The case back does indicate the make, model number, and water resistance indication of 30 meters. The movement is a JHS21, has 20 joules and a 40 hour power reserve. It's moving along at 21,600 vibrations per hour. And after putting this particular watch on a time graph, we see that we are getting an average accuracy of plus 24 seconds per day. This movement does allow for hand winding when the crown is in the zero position. However, it does not hack when moved into position one. Date change starts around 11.40 p.m. and is completed at 12.08 a.m. While the date hand will move towards the next number after midnight, the month indication does not automatically move over after cycling through the 31st. The same is the case with the year indication. It also does not move to the next year from December 31st to January 1st, hence all of these pushers that are needed to manually adjust each according. Okay, let's get this back on the wrist, do a quick summary and talk price. So the good of this watch is definitely the look, the sapphire crystal, the double deployant buckle clasp, and just overall a very cool looking piece. Also, it's a great value as I was able to buy this watch on Amazon for $88. Now they do also have a black dial and black leather option available at this time. I personally like the look of the white and brown version. The bad of this watch would be lack of hacking on the second hand, as well as the constant adjustments that are needed in regard to date, month, and year changes. Also having the pushers on the watch used to change the month and day of month, I have experienced where I've bumped them by accident and see that the month or the date has changed. It's a bit frustrating. And now for the ugly. That would have been the fact that this watch is only going to be accurate through 2030. I know this sounds like a long time away from now, but it's still a limitation nonetheless. I'll likely have to get rid of this watch before then, or deal with having the year listed incorrectly after that point in time. To be honest though, by 2030, I can see myself owning a real long jeans master chronograph, so perhaps it's a moot point. Okay guys, this is my full detailed review of this Guan Chin watch. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Don't forget to enter my giveaway if you haven't yet. Let me know what you think of this homage watch down in the comments below. And as always, I look forward to seeing you at the next one. May the Schwartz be with you. Take care.